hello everyone hope all of you are well and you enjoyed our previous videos your tremendous response encouraged us to make our new episode as early as possible so here is the episode number 5 in our previous episodes we have completed the 2019 msc entrance question paper in botany from question number 1 to question number 70 so in this episode we have started from question number 71 the relay floristic model of succession was proposed by it is proposed by clements there are various models of succession proposed by various ecologists i have given here the entire list along with their respective year in which year they have proposed these types of models now question number 72 the climax pattern theory was given by there are several theories regarding the climax community but in this case the climax pattern theory was given by whichever you have to remember the other climax community theories now question number 73 which of the following method is commonly used for measuring net primary productivity of aquatic ecosystem the correct answer is option number 2 oxygen measuring method this is the most easily measured methods which is used to find out the net primary productivity of the aquatic ecosystem now question number 74 number of trophic levels involved in the grazing food chain in a natural ecosystem is the correct answer is 3 that means option number 2 i have given here the grazing food chain in a diagrammatic way now question number 75 which is an example of sedimentary cycle among the given options the phosphorus cycle is the sedimentary cycle apart from phosphorus cycle there are some other cycle like sulfur cycle iron cycle and calcium cycle which are also sedimentary cycle you have to remember these options also now question number 76 the rate of storage of organic matter in plant tissues in excess of respiratory utilization during the period of measurement of in the ecosystem is termed as that is the definition of net primary productivity now question number 77 the process of progressive increase in concentration of toxic chemicals at successive trophic level in the ecosystem is termed as that is the definition of biomagnification sometimes ddt like compound or mercury like compound is the cause of these types of ecological damage like biomagnification now question number 78 enrichment of lakes and ponds by organic waste is called this is the nothing but the eutrophication the greek word eutrophos which means well nourished from that particular word this eutrophication or eutrophy came out now question number 79 greenhouse effect is mainly caused by there are several greenhouse gases but in the given options the correct answer is option number 1 that is carbon dioxide apart from that methane and certain other gases are also known as greenhouse gases now question number 80 the major source of atmospheric sulfur dioxide is fossil fuel combustion question number 81 an enzyme that catalyzes the conversion of an aldose sugar to a ketose sugar would be classified as one of the that is the example of a isomerase enzyme i have given here the entire classification of the enzymes there are basically six different types of enzymes like oxidoreductase transferase hydrolase lyase isomerase and ligase you have to remember the others options also now question number 82 a competitive inhibitor always increases the km of an enzyme i have given here the comparative analysis of the competitive non competitive and uncompetitive inhibition you 
go through this chart very well this time a competitive inhibitor is the question but in your upcoming future non competitive and uncompetitive inhibition may be present in your question paper now question number 83 unsaturated fatty acid with three double bonds in its structure is that is the structural variation of the linolenic acid that is option number 4 i have given here the different types of unsaturated fatty acid the examples of unsaturated fatty acid like oleic acid linoleic acid and apart from those some are mono unsaturated fatty acid like oleic acid or oleate and some are poly unsaturated fatty acid like linoleate or linolenate so here is our answer now question number 84 F1 F0 ATPase in chloroplast is located on the the correct option is thylakoid membrane with F1 facing the stoma i have given here the diagrammatic view of the ATPase enzyme go through it and you have to remember the different subunits of these structures also now question number 85 conversion of pyruvic acid into ethyl alcohol is facilitated by the enzyme it is facilitated by the combination of two enzyme like decarboxylase and dehydrogenase i have given here the entire conversion or the entire chemical conversion like from pyruvate to acetaldehyde and acetaldehyde to ethanol now question number 86 how many atp molecules are required for the biological reduction of one nitrogen molecule through nitrogenase mediated reaction so if you go through the stoichiometry of the nitrogen metabolism there is a requirement of 16 atp 8 peridoxin and the production rate is 2 nh3 and 1 hydrogen and also there is a requirement of 1 nitrogen and 8 hydrogen ion so in this question the answer is 16 atp now question number 87 in plants which hormone increases during water stress the correct answer is the abscisic acid cytokinin whose concentration is reduced by water stress and simultaneously or side by side the abscisic acid whose concentration is increased by water stress now question number 88 RNA polymer is binds to which of the following sequence in transcription obviously RNA polymer is binds in the promoter region that is a very easy question from any operon here i have given the example of the diagram of the lac operon now question number 89 the chemical name of the two amino 6 oxypurin is that is nothing but the name chemical name of the guanine you have to remember the others purine and pyrimidine bases or the chemical name of these bases along with their structures i have given here the entire explanation now question number 90 the binding of mrna to 30s ribosomal subunit in prokaryotes requires the presence of obviously if3 that means initiation factor 3 there are three different types of initiation like if1 if2 and if3 so i have given the pictorial guide for you now question number 91 the enzyme responsible for de novo synthesis of new dna strands in replication so the correct answer is dna polymerase 3 i have given here also an another pictorial guide now question number 92 the mechanism of atp formation both in chloroplast and mitochondria is explained by that is explained by the chemiosmotic theory which is given by pitel michels now question number 93 assimilatory power produced during photosynthesis are atp and nadph is the correct answer i have given here a tabular form of different types of requirements or production of light reaction of photosynthesis now question number 94 the sugar residues of amylose are the two different glucose residues are joined side by side by the glycosidic bond of one alpha 1 for glycosidic linkage so the alpha amylose 
is a linear polymer of several thousand glucose residues linked by alpha 1,4 glycosidic bonds. So the correct answer is alpha 1,4 linkage. Now question number 95, ZDNA helix is favored by an alternating GC sequence. I have given here the different types of informations which, which are based on the ZDNA. Now question number 96, binding energy released in enzyme substrate complex formation causes the decreasing of free energy product. You have to remember the entire explanation. Now question number 97, at the time of seed germination in cereals gibberellic acid or GA induced amylase synthesis occurs in obviously in aluron layer. I have given here a clear pictorial guide for your future reference. Now question number 98. IAA or indole acetic acid and ethylene have opposite effects in which phenomenon? The correct answer is abscission. Oxin inhibits the abscission and ethylene promotes the abscission. Now question number 99. ABA under the name of Dormin was first isolated from a particular plant namely SR pseudoplatanus. That means the option number 3 is the correct answer. Now question number 100. Water potential of pure water in standard condition is obviously 0. So this is all about the episode 5. If you like this video then obviously you share and follow us on different online platform and also don't forget to press the bell icon now goodbye stay safe stay well